A very warm welcome to this, the first film in our Elements of Architecture series, in which we ask why architecture is broken down into elements. The question, what is architecture, occupied humans since ancient times. The oldest surviving theoretical work on architecture comes down to us from the Roman architect and engineer Vitruvius. He traces the beginnings of architecture back to what he calls the ancient hut, a protective structure built by men seated around a fire pit using just the branches they found around them. Vitruvius penned his famous work, Ten Books on Architecture, in the first century BC. This image shows a later Italian translation. In it, alongside many other issues, Vitruvius deals with the various elements that make up architecture. This is evidence that, by the time of the Roman Empire, architecture was already so complex a subject that its elements were analysed individually as an aid to understanding. Vitruvius's ideas were rediscovered during the Renaissance when between 1443 and 1452, Leon Battista Alberti wrote his book, Ten Books on Architecture. The title alone makes its debt to the previous work of Vitruvius abundantly clear. This is the title page of an edition printed in 1541. The classification introduced by Alberti includes elements such as walls, roofs and openings. Gottfried Zemper was one of the major German architects of the 19th century. He worked as an architect and university professor in Dresden from 1834 to 1849 and left the city a wealth of fine buildings. You may have heard of Dresden's Zemper Oper Opera House. For an architect, it is heartwarming to note that it was named not after a famous musician, but after its architect. Zemper's book, The Four Elements of Architecture, published in 1851, makes specific reference to four elements, even if the first of them is the fire pit, first mentioned by Vitruvius. In 1923, the Swiss Le Corbusier, perhaps the most famous architect of the 20th century, wrote his manifesto, The Five Points of Modern Architecture. In a radical break with the architectural thinking of the time, he developed a new set of architectural elements. The pilotis, the roof garden, the free plan, the horizontal window and the free facade. Le Corbusier's Villa Savoy, completed in 1931 and now regarded as an icon of modernism, embodies a particularly pure form of this approach. I'd like to round off this brief journey through the history of architecture by introducing a simple method that will help you understand architecture and approach the design process in a systematic manner. The method is called selective seeing. Rather than simply looking at the built environment, it requires you to break it down or deconstruct it into its individual parts. You may have come across a similar method in art when analysing paintings through their pictorial elements. It's just as successful when applied to architecture. You can train yourself to look at architecture using this method by breaking it down into its individual parts and naming them. This selective seeing method is also used in another very important aspect of building, the calculation of construction costs. DIN 2761, Construction Costs, Building Construction, the German standard that regulates how construction costs are calculated, is one of the most important standards used in architecture. It employs the same method of breaking down a building into its constituent parts. The individual parts, which the standard refers to as cost elements, are organised into a system of cost groups. This image shows the seven main groups, also referred to as Level 1 groups. Building structures are dealt with in cost groups 300 and 400 of DIN 2761. Cost group 300 covers the building structures themselves, while cost group 400 lists technical plant and machinery. Both cost groups are further divided into Level 2 groups. We'll take a closer look at these cost groups and cost elements in subsequent films. Summary Architecture was first divided into elements in Vitruvius's work, Ten Books on Architecture. This approach has been taken up and developed at various times by major figures in the history of architecture, including Leon Battista Alberti, Gottfried Zemper and Le Corbusier. To understand architecture, it's helpful to break it down into its constituent parts. 
Elements such as walls, roofs, openings, etc. are considered and analyzed separately using a method known as selective seeing. Why not take a look at the second film in our Elements of Architecture series? It deals with those elements of a building that are in contact with the ground.